Strandberg have just released their most affordable Bowden to date. Let's check out the brand new Strandberg Essential 6. <laughs> Everybody thinks of headless guitars or basses. The first one, certainly within the more modern guitar landscape that will pop to people's minds, is probably more than likely Strandberg. It certainly is for me. They do just have this sort of iconic look that you'll immediately see one and you'll know exactly what it is. And certainly for anybody who has played one, you'll know that there's not anything quite like them and I'll certainly get into that when I start going over the specs of these particular guitars here and just behind me there that I'll show off just in a bit but as I mentioned what I'm going to be talking about today is the brand new Strandberg Essential 6 Bowden. Now these are the most affordable Bowden headless models, the Bowden model being this kind of guitar here, which you'll see all the time. And it says it right on the body as well, so you can't confuse it. But for the past, you know, bunch of years, I would say, certainly, the prominence of Strandberg has really, really risen in terms of their popularity, especially with more modern guitarists as well. Well, guitars and basses, bassists. Because they're just, they're so capable of doing so many different sounds and they're so capable of just kind of getting you where you need to be with whatever kind of guitar playing you are doing whether that be you know modern metal any sort of proggy stuff even you know super clean like r&b stuff as well but i'll stop yabbering on and let's just jump right in with the guitar itself. Now much like all of our other videos they are split into chapters so if you do just want to hear the sounds of these guitars you can just check below in the timeline below because I'm going to be going over the specs and then checking out the pickups and stuff like that today. And all the sounds you are going to be hearing are from our Supro Black Magic combo and all of the pedal effects are coming from a Neuro DSP unit. So let's just jump in right with the specs. So obviously the first notable thing about these guitars is their body shape and the lack of headstock when it comes to them. Now, there's a wealth of history, you know, because Strandberg weren't the ones to actually create this. This was, goes all the way back to the 80s. But as I mentioned, they're kind of the ones who are pioneered it, in my opinion, with the sort of new era of guitarists, shall we say. So the body, it's obviously incredibly contoured, it's incredibly sort of well designed in terms of weight, in terms of ergonomics. It's going to be a word that I'm probably going to use quite a lot when I'm talking about this guitar, but it sits really, really comfortable on your body. There's also a few sections for it as well to sit however you want it. It's very much comfort and again ergonomics in mind when it comes to these guitars. The Essential models have a Maranti body and it's a bolt-on design there as well and they come in two colours actually. This is the Astro Dust and there's also a granite black as well which is just this model. I might have been blending into the background ever so slightly there. But you've got a couple of colours to choose from as well, just these nice solid matte colours. The bodies as well are no gloss on them at all. They are a matte feel, so they feel absolutely incredible. Now, where the bolt on to the neck is right there. This is this really nice contoured neck heel, which again, ergonomics and ease of play is the main thing when it comes to these guitars. You're not gonna find any issues getting up to that 24 fret there if you need to. And actually, while we're on the neck as well, it has a roasted maple, Back there, rosewood board with 24 stainless steel frets. Going back onto back onto the back of the neck, this is the biggest thing that I kind of point towards people when it comes to Strandbergs, and this is the actual shape of the neck. This is their Endura neck shape. 
And I'll try and get that as much as possible on that camera. But it actually is like, it comes to a bit of a shelf on the back here. There's an actual flat bit. And it's very square. Now, on first sort of inspection of these kind of necks, I would imagine a lot of people would be quite sort of freaked out by it because we're so used to like rounded neck shapes. But after, I don't know, like five minutes, probably, you kind of start questioning yourself to why you've never played something like this before because it just feels really, really, really cool. I know that Aaron is behind the camera. He's a particular lover of this neck as well because I think we all are when we get our hands on it. Isn't that right? Yeah, super cool. Just easy to play. That's what we want here. Then obviously going up to the top of the neck as well, there's no headstock. So you're not actually going to get any of that neck dive. It's not actually the easiest to demonstrate without a strap on as well, but the super easy, obviously, just when you're standing, you're not going to find it's going to be tipping over. And it's really going to save your shoulder as well, especially if you find that, you know, some guitars are too heavy for you or you're playing a long set, anything like that, or even long studio sessions as well. Rounding up some of the hardware, it's a 25.5 inch scale length and the radius of it as well is 20 inches. It's very, very flat radius on this. Again, kind of made for more modern types of music, maybe a bit more modern types of guitar playing, but again, this can kind of cover everything. It does have no fan frets. That's one of the big changes with the Essential range as well. You'll notice on the kind of more premium Strandberg models, they've got fan fret designs. And essentially what that means is that the guitar is a multi-scale, which means your lower strings are on a slightly longer scale length so that they've got more tension. Your higher strings there are on a slightly shorter scale length. It's all to do with the bridge and the way that the frets are actually put into the neck. And on the topic of the bridge, that is a brand new bridge design that Strandberg have made for this guitar. It is their EGS Arc Cast Zinc Fixed Bridge, and that has the same string locks just right in the bottom there. If you wondered where your strings go, they are just in there. You feed them through, take them up to the top, you unscrew these, almost like a kind of Floyd Rose sort of system, lock them in, and then that's it. And if anybody wondered as well, that's where you do your tuning. Now, the last couple of bits that I want to mention, obviously to do with the hardware of this guitar. You have a master volume, master tone, and a five-way selector, and these are actually the, some brand new custom humbuckers that Strandberg have made for this guitar. Because you'll notice in some of their more premium models, they'll be loaded with completely different pickups. So that's one of the areas that they have kind of, you know, not necessarily cut on, but definitely that's where you're saving yourself a little bit of money. But I'll let you hear these just on a clean signal just now as well. I'll turn off my effects that I was using. So loads of scope for sounds, obviously, just within the guitar itself. That five-way selector giving you the ability for full humbucker tones, for split humbucker tones, and certainly for the couple of minutes that I got to just sort of warm up on this before filming, I was finding myself jumping between lots of different genres and lots of different sounds as well, just even with the pickup selection there as well. There's no push pulls. Don't feel you need them on this to be fair you're getting all those in between tones just from the selector switch now that kind of covers it for the specs in all honesty there's you know there's a bit more of a stripped down kind of thing going on with these guitars and the main deal is just to make them that little bit more accessible you know to everybody just well still keeping the things that keep Schramberg Schramberg i.e. the neck. 
So let's just jump into some sounds with this. I'm going to be using a variety of different tones, as I said, from the Neural, the Neural DSP. We'll just see exactly what this thing is capable of. So that about covers it with the Stramberg Essential 6, and I'll get the 
granite black model as well just to give that a little bit of time properly in front of the camera while I'm speaking. As I mentioned, these I think are just a really cool addition to the Strandberg lineup. So one of the things is that with headless guitars and with guitars like this, they've always been at that slightly higher price point, especially you know with the unique features that actually go into these guitars. But just the fact that they're now a lot more obtainable and still retain a lot of that stuff that makes them so individual and makes them so unique and good, I think it's just such a cool thing. So if you ever have even had a slight notion towards a Strandberg, but you've not enjoyed the price tag, obviously, this is a great, obviously, step for you to go and check them out now, and maybe it's going to be your next guitar. And I would actually say the next time you're in a guitar store as well, if you do see one of these, just give it a try, because, again, the neck is so unique on it that I genuinely think that you'll really surprise yourself by how much you do enjoy it. Now, looks-wise, I'm not going to make up your mind on that, but... I think you would be hard pressed to find that you dislike the sounds and the feel of this guitar. But let me know what you think about the brand new Strandberg Essential 6 guitars down in the comments below. Are you excited to see them here? Are you rushing out to try them? Please do let us know. And while you're down there, give us a like and a subscribe. It really does go a long way to help the channel. But until next time, I've been Kieran and this has been a look at the brand new Strandberg Essential 6 guitars. Have a great day.